Hello, this is Christy. In today's tutorial in Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to use a much faster way to straighten products or images and make them straight or crop them without having to do all the steps that I showed in the previous tutorial with Photoshop that involved distorting objects and, and cutting and pasting and everything like that. So this tool is called the Perspective Crop Tool. You can find it in Photoshop by pressing the, the key C which is per, uh, perspective crop, but it actually the same key shortcut gives you the crop tool, the perspective crop tool, slice tool, and so on. So you can rotate through these. But today we will look at the perspective crop tool. So I'm gonna, on purpose, I'm gonna use the same set of images that I used in my previous tutorial to show you how to straighten these books out and how to crop them out with no much, not much effort at all. So if you, Remember my other tutorial, I was selecting all of these corners of these objects and kind of making sure that I was selecting the corners uh, uh, accurately and then uh, cutting and pasting and transforming, rotating and then distorting and doing all of that so that I could obtain the um, effect of, of, you know, making these book covers straight. But in this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you a much easier way to do the same thing in only a couple of clicks. All you have to do is just use this uh, perspective crop tool. And uh, let's go, uh, let's restore this image now and let's try and do it and see how fast it is. So as you can see, this picture here is uh, rotated to the left. It's uh, in perspective here. So the, the edges are not parallel. All I have to do is use the perspective uh, crop tool and select the top left corner and then go and drag to the bottom right corner even if even if the image the, the selection that you see doesn't really make sense in the first step the second step is going to reveal everything so let me show you just if you if you need to zoom in make sure you zoom in you can zoom in like this control and plus so i have the uh perspective crop tool here i'm gonna just click on the corner here just a little bit inside you know so if i'm zooming in a, a bit more here um i'm not actually gonna click right here in the corner i'm just gonna leave a little space here because i want the edge to be cropped nicely and straight i don't want all of this curvy bit so i'm gonna select a little bit on the inside of the corner. Obviously I need to zoom out because I need to see the uh, both corners, but I'm gonna just click on here and drag to the other corner. Now, this selection, as you can see here, doesn't really look like a, it's, it's including the whole book, but this will be revealed in a second. So release the selection in the corner. And now you see this grid here. This grid is uh, the actual uh, area that's gonna remain in the image after the crop. So um, now you need to just pull uh, these corners to match the corners of your object. In this case, the corners of our book like so. So now when I'm happy that the area inside of my selection is going to be the one that remains, all I have to do is just click on this check mark here that says uh, commit current crop operation. Or you can press the enter key or you can double click. Each one of these does the same. Let's click on this check mark to apply. Now, there you go. My selection has been, uh, my crop has been performed. All I have to do now is rotate the image because my book was on the side. So that's how it is. So I'm just going to go to image and I'm going to go image rotation 90 degrees clockwise. And here we are. This is my book. So without my explanation, really, this, you know, really should have taken like a couple of seconds or, or, or five. Let's try another one here. Here it is. Just the same one. Just zoom in a little bit. Make sure the perspective crop tool is selected. Click on the top left corner, go to the bottom right corner and then adjust slightly to go in the corners just like this and press the check mark done now do not be scared this is sometimes happens because the while the crop does work and the image is straight because of the image ratio you may get a distorted image like this so this is the catch the catch thing that i was telling you about there is a catch so you need to finally make a, another step adjustment to this so just control a to select everything control uh, t 
to transform and just hold down the shift key to transform from the side like this and then you bring your book to the aspect ratio that you want release press enter and then image and crop and there you go this is the extra step that i was telling you about that this perspective crop does a good job but it may actually give you a distorted image which you need to adjust to one on one side or another so let's try again very quickly a few more top left bottom right slight adjustment slight adjustment here press enter done see again it's distorted so i'm going to control a control t shift key and pull to the left when i'm happy press enter again so image crop done so this is a this is a much faster way than i showed in the other um tutorial i believe if you click on the corners and you you can draw your selection in multi point like this so you can do this from the first step without the need to adjust the selection afterwards press enter again you see this uh, zooms in a little bit too much Control a Control t shift key and pull to the left so really this is an extra step you need to do here and then just crop the image like so and there you there you go you, you're done so i'm just gonna shut up now and i'm gonna do the rest of the images with no commentary so that you can see how fast and easy this tool is like so So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you find this tool useful and time saving. Thank you for watching my tutorials and if you enjoy them, please subscribe to my channel, share them with your friends, like and comment. If you have any questions about my tutorials or if you would like to, me to do some tutorials about some functions or um, procedures or tools in, in Photoshop or Zara or Camtasia or any of the other software that I'm covering on my channel please don't hesitate to uh, write a comment or contact me and I will try to uh, produce a tutorial just for you. Thanks for watching again and see you next time. <music>